As always, it is so great to be here with you. And like I've told you in the past, if it wouldn't be for you, Spain on Fork would not be possible. So once again, I just wanna let you know how much I deeply appreciate every single one of you. Anyways, today we're making another recipe using the humble zucchini, also known as a courgette or calabacín, like we call it in Spain. We're talking calabacín rebozado. This dish is basically zucchini that you thinly slice, then you coat the slices in a delicious egg mixture, and finally, fry them in some extra virgin olive oil until they're golden fried all around. Folks, we're talking a ton of great flavors, just a handful of basic ingredients, and done in 30 minutes. All right, let's begin by grabbing a medium-sized zucchini that's already been washed and patted dry, and cutting it into thin rounds that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. The secret, make sure they're all similar in thickness, that way all the zucchini evenly cooks. Then we'll transfer the slices of zucchini into a colander with a plate underneath. Season with sea salt. Then we'll gently mix it together. That way the salt is evenly coating all the zucchini and then let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And let me tell you, this is the most important step in this recipe as that salt's gonna extract the water out of the zucchini. That way later on when we cook it, it keeps its beautiful firm texture with absolutely no mush. In the meantime, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm going to crack in two eggs into a bowl. Along with two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is eight grams. You can substitute this for one teaspoon of dried parsley, which is about one gram. We'll finely grate in three cloves of garlic. As always, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. And we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll mix it together until everything's well mixed. And we'll also add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a large bowl, which is about 60 grams. For the next step, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. For this recipe, it's so important to use a great olive oil is this what really flavors the zucchini. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company in the description box below. While the oil is heating, let's move back to the zucchini. It's been sitting here for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, a ton of water has been extracted. At this point, I'm gonna add the slices of zucchini over some paper towels, making sure they're all in a single layer, and then patting them completely dry. Then we'll add the slices of zucchini into the bowl with the flour, and we'll gently mix it around until each slice of zucchini is fully coated in the flour. Then we'll dip the slices of zucchini into the egg mixture and you wanna do this one at a time. And then adding it into the pan with a hot olive oil. And you wanna make sure they're on a single layer, so cook this in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna go for about two to three minutes per side here or until the slices of zucchini are golden fried all around. And as you finish each batch, transfer the slices of zucchini into a plate with some paper towels. And if you wanna keep the fried zucchini warm while you cook the rest of the batches, you just add it into a preheated oven at its lowest setting. and we'll continue to cook our zucchini in batches in the exact same method. Once all the zucchini's been fried up, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna transfer the slices of zucchini into a serving dish. And check it out folks, calabacín rebozado, roughly translated to battered zucchini. Super easy to make, such a gorgeous presentation, and all done in 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Seriously folks, this has to be one of the most beautiful zucchini dishes we've ever done here on the show. This I can't wait to try. Here we go. Oh goodness.
beautiful light crispy texture on the outside and the inside the zucchini perfectly cooked uh, kept its firm shape with absolutely no mush and for the flavors you have the eggs in there the parsley the garlic and the olive oil to take things to the next level so this as a tapas appetizer or even as a side dish next to some grilled fish and roasted potatoes either way with the first taste dish this might be the best zucchini dish you'll ever taste Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Kent Anderson, Grace Suarez, Amy Martinez, and Alan M. Hirschman. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.